Hey YouTube, this is Brad, I'm back with what I think is 51 weeks of base progress. That means next week will be a year. Um, if, I'm, if I'm doing all my math right. Uh, so, here's what I've got for you this week. Um, I'm going to go through two or three bass lines, haven't actually decided yet. Um, that I've already played throughout the year, that I've already got videos on the channel for. Uh, doing one set with these round wound strings that I've had on since the beginning. And then I'm going to put some flats on and play the exact same thing with the exact same settings on my preamp, the exact same uh, settings on my tone knobs and go from there. So this first one is um, higher ground. I've got a mid scoop going on the preamp. I've got some, I don't have drive on it, but I have like some gain boost on it. Um, I've got my bridge pickup all the way on, my neck pickup almost all the way off, my tone all the way up. And it's going to sound like this. Something like that. Um, so yeah, that's just a really fun line. Um, I think the first time I played that in a video, I was doing, you know, because Flea played that, um, and I was slapping like him, which is probably the right way to do it, you know, if you're going to play like Flea, play like Flea, right? You know, so flat, slapping like Flea, thumb down. play like flea um, but now I pretty well play that line and everything else I slap thumb up because I'm still working on it um, but I want to get better with that thumb up technique so I can do things like double thumb things like that um, I'm still kind of bad at it but I'm working on it um, by the way, if y'all notice any audio weirdness going on, um, you are getting audio from my camera, but you're also getting audio um, primarily for the bass. You're getting audio from this DI. And I mentioned in last week's video, I'm going through, I, I just upgraded to Windows 11, got a new computer, it's my own crater. Um, so my interface here, um, does not have Windows 11 drivers and so I've got another interface coming as well um, but for right now we're running with some generic drivers and I've got 28 milliseconds worth of input lag and 28 milliseconds worth of output lag for a total of like what 56 um, so that's a lot so I actually don't know how this recording is going to turn out audio-wise, but we're just going to see. Anyway, moving on to the next thing. Uh, I'm going to go for a lot rounder tone. Um, I'm going all the way on the bridge pickup. I, I have no idea how this is played really, by the way, but this is that earth, wind, and fire line. This is how I'm going to do it. All the way on the neck. Um, about half on the bridge, like I'm not turning it all the way off, and dial back the tone pretty significantly. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of my scoop. My I, I had a mid scoop here, so I'm just going to turn that to about neutral. Um, but I am still leaving my gain boost on just because I think it makes things a little bit clearer, especially coming into this audio interface. And so here we go. Here's, um, yeah, September.
saw I made a pretty big mistake there. Um, what do you do? In my case, I just tried to stay on the beat and catch back where I was supposed to be and keep going. That's what I do in shows if I make a mistake. And, um, you know, solo work like this, especially where the bass line kind of is the song, um, you probably really don't get away with that. Um, but if you're playing out, what else are you going to do, right? So I encourage that, and I'm not cutting that out because I want you to see it. Um, all right, so what am I going to play next? Uh, I'm going to pause while I'm thinking. Okay, I thought about it for a little bit, and for my last one, um, I got to go back to what I think. Like, I haven't gone back and checked the tapes, but I think this might be the first thing that I played on bass. Um, people will argue about whether or not it's a bass line, uh, but in my books it is, even if it's played on a guitar. Um, so I've got a very slight bass boost. I've got my neck pick up all the way up. My bridge pick up mostly up. My tone basically all the way in. And this is Seven Nation Army. Here's one bonus. Here's one bonus, and uh, yeah, I'll just throw this in on the flat wounds as well. Um, let's see. I'm gonna roll my bridge to a little bit over half. My uh, sorry, roll the neck to a little bit over half. The bridge to about 80%. Fun fact on this bass: um, between about 85 percent to 95 like if I go to a hundred it's actually fine um, but in that slice um, you get some real bad static like you can hear it you can hear when I'm rolling that um, and that gets picked up on interfaces it gets picked up by our monitors when we're playing shows um, so usually when I'm running bridge I go to about 80% and that's where I stop it. Anyway, um, that Green Day line I played a couple weeks ago, um, I listened back to it and I was like, oh man, I didn't do the double stops. Uh, so I gotta fix that. Here's that. that says you can't play bass with a pick, you have to use fingers. No, you play what's right for the song. Um, I prefer finger style most of the time, uh, but you know, you gotta, you gotta play what's right. Anyway, um, I'm gonna change these strings, which I've never done before on bass. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back and see y'all some more. So thanks for watching. Bye. Hey YouTube, uh, just a quick note on the audio front. Um, so I've already done the processing on the portion of the video with the round wounds. Um, most of what was coming out of the interface was unusable. Um, for, for some reason, like the very first part of it was good, so it's in there. 
but most of what you're hearing is going to be camera audio. I'm going to try again with the interface on this portion, but uh, you just never know. Um, so it might only be camera audio, or you might get some with the interface too, depending on if it sounds usable. Uh, anyway, we're going to get going. Here's all the same songs, or all the same snippets of songs, uh, with flat wounds. Enjoy. First up, we got Higher Ground with a scoop. Uh, the neck pickup is mostly all the way down, but not quite, say about 30-40%. Neck pickup, or bridge pickup is at about 80, which we're calling max for this bass. And tone is all the way up. maybe because they're just new, um, are a lot brighter and even just like louder. Um, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Alrighty, next up we've got September. So I'm going to flatten out that scoop, um, which is going to definitely also make things quieter. I noticed listening on the recording. Um, we're going to go high on that neck pickup all the way up. Uh, the bridge is going to about 35%. No, that's not what I wrote down. Half. Go to about half. And then we're rolling off our tone to about a quarter. And here's September. about oh dang I guess I'm that's got to be what's happening I'm, I'm pushing the string into the pickup um, which I've never really done with rounds I don't know if maybe they sit closer with flats they look about the same the action feels about the same I don't know uh, interesting something for me to watch out for Anywho, getting right on to Seven Nation Army, we've got a slight bass boost here on our Joyo Monomyth, uh, which we're going to have a video coming up shortly for that, because uh, this is a really cool pedal and I like it a lot. Um, I'm really just turning up the... Oh, that's a master. Wow, it would help if I like actually read. Okay, so that's just master up and then the absolute lowest bass up a little bit. And then we're rolling to neck 100, got it, and bridge about 75, and tone 100. Here we go. I also don't think I said it in the last video, but well, let's play it first. But I think I might have turned on a slight overdrive too, so let me play it without and then maybe with. sounds tonally about similar to what I had played before so I don't think I put a drive on that 
just for fun, let's hear what that would sound like, because because I feel like this is one of those where you could get really aggressive with it. Uh, so this is going to be even more aggressive. Let's go. Yeah, that's the way that should be. Oh man, bass face engaged, right? Um, but just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to uh, turn that drive off and give you that long view line. Uh, I'm gonna do it again, finger style and pick style, um, just cause that's how I did it in the last video, but that definitely is played with a pick and it really should be, so. Here's lo it, it is Long V, right? I know it's a Green Day song. I can never remember. I mean, you know, it sounds it sounds good finger style. But then you come in with a pick. If you do it right. tone set somewhere between a distortion and a fuzz, kind of more on the distortion side, but let's, let's hear it. that I've heard between these flats and the rounds that I've been running for the last year minus a week. Um, these, and, and again, this a lot of it could be just because they're new um, versus old. Um, but these definitely sound a lot brighter um, and somewhat louder. Um, I know, like, like normally that's not kind of what you would expect off of round wound strings or flat wound strings. You know, you would expect them to not be as bright of a sound. If I'm remembering what I read right, you know, I, I do read on these things, but it's actually been a while between reading and deciding, like, ah, I'm gonna buy some flats. Um, but I think that's what they're supposed to be is, is like kind of a rounder sound, um, kind of more classic -y style uh, back in the mix. But these are kind of being like real punchy. So hopefully the band likes that. I'm liking it. Um, one thing I have found is since they're so darn smooth, you can do like can just slide around and you're not gonna cut your fingers at all so that's pretty cool video so thank you all for sticking around to the end um, coming up in the next couple weeks I've got that review that I'm gonna do on this Joyo monomyth 
um, which as I've already said is a great pedal. I'm not being paid to say that, but hey, Julio, if you're if you're watching, listening, I'm open. You know, let's talk. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, thank y'all guys very much for watching. Keep playing, and I will see y'all next week.